left foot up, grab gun. Hit, hit. hit. Hold your water. Hit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Rodney Wells, head football coach at Dr. Phillips High School. Uh, Dr. Phillips is an 8 a program in Orlando, Florida, with a lot of a lot of tradition. Um, I'm blessed to be the head coach here because I'm a Dr. Phillips alumni. Um, Dr. Phillips is not a very old school. It's you know, Dr. Phillips was built in 1987, so we just celebrated our 30 year reunion this past you know last week. We're doing a lot of great things. Um, we're known around not just the state, not just the city, but around the country. Anytime somebody sees DP, uh, they know it's Dr. Phillips football. The defense get five stops today. The offense gonna win today. Coach Wells gives you that winning attitude. And it dribbles down to all the players, even to the lowest, to the JV team. He don't leave anybody out. And what it is is they all pack one another. And they want to be the best that they can be. And, and that's what Dr. Phillips is all about. Like I said about them guys, man, I'm excited. Uh, about the great player, done from Miami. Uh, you know, just got that great mental toughness, you know, not scared of anything. Um, just a great back reminds me of um, a guy for the Falcons. He played at Florida State. I can't even think of his name right now. Devontae Freeman. You know, but um, Devontae is just, you know, great kid. You know, got a great spirit. You know, um, come from a great home. He's just tough, man. I love him. And then Brandon Fields, Fields will probably get drafted one day. Uh, he probably will not be playing football, but if he does, he is a D1 back, SEC type back all day. Great kid, like I said, great family. One of the top players in the, in the nation in baseball. Has a couple D1 offers in baseball already, so hopefully I'll get to keep them. But um, they're great kids, you know. so fortunate to have uh, Coach Boris Jackson uh, on the staff, uh, probably the most technical coach and the coach with the most soul in, in the world. Uh, he does a great job, not just with the secondary, but with the team, you know, getting them riled up, getting them ready, getting them focused, getting them dialed in, getting everybody, you know, playing together. Uh, but he has the, the secondary along with uh, myself. It's one opponent that's standing in the way. It's not university, it's you. No mental mistakes, no physical mistakes. No mental and no physical mistakes. Everything that you do is deliberate. I did it on purpose. I smashed the guy in front of me on purpose. I caught the pass across the middle on purpose. I turned it up and laid the boom on purpose. What you do tonight <laughs> is premeditated, baby. Some of y'all boys get in your zone when you listen to your music, huh? And sometimes you hear those rappers say it was premeditated. Guess what? This whooping that y'all gonna put on university has been premeditated. Captains for Dr. Phillips, number 11, Bishon McCray. Number 42, Joe Gullah. And number 74, John Campbell. All right, Captain, it's going to be a long turn, right? White, you take care of White. Blue. Over. 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 Pound squatter, very very explosive, and you can see that uh, when he's running the ball. Uh, a lot of people 
don't want to tackle him, don't want to get in his way. Uh, and you never see the guy tackled by one person. Quarterback, we got B. Sean McCray, uh, who's a dual threat quarterback, doing a great job for us. Uh, came in last year in the spring, had a really good spring game. Uh, he can throw it, he can run it, you know, has great leadership skills. Uh, picked up the offense, you know, really easy. And uh, we were blessed to have B. Sean with us. Sleep. That's it. You're going to turn it into a tone. Hey, who got uh, first name? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I have two This year's hands in Owens County. Come to game stop. He don't catch nothing in practice. He dropped all the balls. The game, he catch everybody. It's Coach Jackson, offensive coordinator. He's the smartest coach in the state of Florida. Probably the smartest coach in the world. Anything about technology, like I don't know what this is. Like I don't know what this do. But he'll tell you everything about it, how they built it, where it came from. My man Jackson. Jackson, he's our you know, offensive coordinator, been with us for you know seven or eight years, been doing a great job. You know, calling the offense. You know, a lot of energy, uh, doing a great job. Uh, I remember the first day in practice, he called Bishon sniper. No, he called him Kodak that because he's a sniper. His accuracy is on on point. But, um... Deshaun, I can't say enough. One year, people don't come to Dr. Phillips and get voted by their peers to be a captain after one year. And when I first met him, I said, well, name one word that talks about your game. He said, smooth. And so we got a nickname for him because he throws nothing but snipes. We call him Kodak. So if, and if I holler his name down the hall, he know Kodak. He know who that is. I always tell him like, I, got, I got his back or whatever, like when we on the field. So he don't have to worry about no pressure coming towards him because me and the whole offensive line unit are going to hold it down. <laughs> Personally, I got so much pride, you know, in Dr. Phillips. Uh, a lot of people call me Dr. Phillips' son just because I'm the kid from Tandy Lowe who, you know, grew up around here. I was a guy on the sideline, the kid on the sideline, you know, fifth, sixth grade, you know, running around watching Dr. Phillips play, running around on the field. I couldn't wait, you know, to play for Dr. Phillips. So I got here, I think 1993, 1994, uh, when I got here, you know, freshman year. Um, you know, played JV, played junior varsity, uh, also was a, a basketball player. And then my sophomore year, all the way to my senior year, played varsity. Had a really good career. Um, at the time, had a sack record, you know, 25 career sacks. And it just got broken by my defensive end, Robert Porsche, who got a full scholarship to uh, Virginia Tech. Uh, I used to joke, joke with him all the time and tell him on third down, I'm going to take him out the game so he can't break my record. But uh, he broke it. Yeah, he broke about four or five sacks, and you know I'm proud of him. I'm glad to have coached guys like that. Right shoulder, set. Good. There we go. There we go. Good. Tight hip. Right shoulder. Ready. Come on, baby. Let's go. Uh, one of 
the big reason that we sign so many kids on a yearly basis is because we take our education, you know, so serious. I, I tell the guys, look, you need 3.0 GPA, know your number. Uh, you need 80% in every single class, and everything else will take care of itself. Uh, so you got to take care of your education. Around Orlando, people are preparing for a storm like no other. A dire sign of the impending storm's danger. The typically bustling downtown Orlando is already nearly deserted as Irma turns her way north. But inside these areas, hotels, they are full. All 120,000 hotel rooms in central Florida sold out for days to people fleeing the hurricane. And like, I know my friend in the house, they have power. They all have power for like we can like two days from crazy. What about it, man? And they, they got hit bad. Like I know downtown right now, they show, they still trying to get it fixed and stuff. Like it was flooded down there. I got some pictures of my phone. Show you. But, like it was just bad. It was real bad. Hi guys, my name is Daniela. I am the regional manager of Feeding Children Everywhere. We're a local organization here to Orlando that focuses on mobilizing individuals for a hunger-free world. And so what that looks like is just bringing people together who are willing to extend their hand and package food that gets distributed globally. Today, within the Orange County Convention Center, we are packaging 4.4 million meals and sending it over to Puerto Rico for relief, thanks to Hurricane Maria, as a response to that. And so we do have some of your awesome football players here joining us today who will be packaging a portion of those 4.4 million meals. And again, the program will be running from Friday all the way to the 5th of November, all morning to 9 o'clock p.m. And so we'd love to have you guys here, and we thank you for being a part of the release. Martinez, who's another captain, uh, and uh, John Campbell, who's a Miami commit, uh, going to uh, Miami 6'6", 310 pounds. And, uh, you know, what stands out about John is, you know, just the passion that he plays with on the field. And all the college coaches just like to watch his film. He watched the first three or four plays. I mean, he's standing out. He's pushing guys out of bounds. He stays on his blocks. He's blocking to the whistle. And he doesn't say a whole lot, but he says a lot with his with his pads. Dr. Phillips is the only team that got the hardest schedule in Central Florida. We the only one that play everybody. Everybody else want a week off. We don't want no week off. We the only one that play everybody. And the only reason we do that is because we the only one prepared <laughs> for everybody. The hockey is a is a war dance that they did in the islands before, obviously going to war, and they did it to their opponents, and it's just a little intimidating factor, but when you do it, it brings, not even to me, but like to other people on the team as 
even in the crowd brings chills because it looks intimidating outside of the fact of being in it. And that was the whole purpose, is just to be able to do something as a team, like obviously different from what people in Central Florida are used to seeing. But I'm honored at the fact that I'm able to do it. And it's just a little, a little something I could bring back from my family and also the football team. In the first half, we still, even though we up 14, we should be up 28, because we was a little timid. We didn't know. Right now, there's no doubt in anybody's mind that's watching this game on TV or in this stands, who the most physical, who the most dominant team. So we got 24 minutes right now to go take their fucking heart. We finish. We do what we do. We the most physical. We the most zero to zero. 24 minutes. Let's finish the fucking game. Let's go, goddammit. The challenge of the week was to start how we've been finishing. And tonight, we started and we finished. That team will not be shut out again, ever. That team will never be shut out again. Defense, we posed a challenge. We said we weren't up to our expectations. And tonight, we played Dr. Phillips' defense. Give it up, John. Thank you. 